Alright, so today's video is about the MFC L2700DW with a print enable OB error. So this particular machine we're working on has two problems. It has the OB error and it also has the document jam error where there is obviously something wrong with one of the sensors up here that's causing the OB error. Sorry, not causing the OB error, causing the document jam error. So, uh, yeah. All right, so this particular machine is the L2700. It's also known as the L2703 DW. The O3 indicating that this particular machine here has come from a well-known office supplies company in Australia who did a deal with Brother that only they would supply the O3 model, meaning that no one could match them on the price of this machine because they were the only ones that sold this model of machine. Uh, so this machine uses the TN2350 in Australia, the DR2325 drum unit. Uh, it's also sold as the HL two three six five DW this little small printer version yeah. uh, with the Wi-Fi built in uh, it's also sold by Fuji Xerox as the Fuji Xerox DocuPrint M225DW and that one uses the CT351055 the CT202329 toner cartridge Uh, there's a few other Xerox machines it's also sold as. Um, this is the only one I've got lying around. I think it's the M265DW as well. So it generally just looks like this. Uh, Alright, so let's get on to what the cause of the problem is. Okay, so there are a few reasons why your machine produces an 08 error. The first cause of the problem, the most common cause of the problem, believe it or not, the problem can be caused by a non genuine toner cartridge. Specific non-genuine toner cartridges coming from specific online cartridge selling companies. In Australia, we have one major online cartridge selling company, Dirt Cheap Selling Company. They're very well known. You can't go to any website on the internet without one of their ads popping up. I've noticed a definite correlation with printers coming into the workshop with this OA error code and the prevalence of their toners inside the machine. The problem is caused by in the first instance there's like three or four reasons why this happens it's because of the electrical connectors on the side of the cartridge. So in these printers, 
they have this plastic here which conducts electricity. Yes, that's correct. It's plastic that is conductive. So these plastic conductors carry the charge voltage down to the development roller. If the plastic hasn't been constructed properly with the correct resistance, it can cause the main fuse on the motherboard which delivers the charge voltage to simply blow because it draws too much current. The second cause, the use of non-genuine drum units. The same company that supplies the non-genuine toners also supplies non-genuine drum units. The problem with the non-genuine drum units is the charge wire. There is a tiny little wire down here which carries the 2 kilovolt charge to statically charge the drum. You can see it here. This, this tiny little wire in here. There it is. It's gold plated. In the non-genuine drum units it cannot sometimes be non-gold plated. Um, what, what can happen is the charge wire snaps, the charge wire then drops and char hits the grid down the bottom. It short circuits, it makes the current drawn from the power supply unit go up and that in turn blows the fuse on the main board. So, you're better off with a genuine drum unit repaired with a non-genuine drum if you want to save money. Do not use an entire non-genuine drum unit. It will cause mega problems with your printer, including this OB error. OB or O8? Yep, OB. So, non-genuine drum units can cause this problem. What's that? That's number two or number three we're up to? Number three, I think. Fourth problem. Third, I can't remember, I haven't been keeping count. As the machine ages, these machines are now heading on five to six years of age, the laser motor in these machines, so the laser unit is up in here, there's a little motor that spins and shoots the laser beam up and down, and um, that laser motor can start to draw more current as its bearings get worn. So. Uh, with your laser motor, uh, I'll just see if I can find one. I've got one handy. Nap, nope, search high and low, can't find a laser motor, so I can't show you. It's always the way when you want something, you can't find it. Um, okay, so the laser motor, when it gets old, the bearings become sloppy, the motor starts to draw more current, and from the power supply and then um, with the safety devices they build into these machines uh, blows particular fuses. So your OB error is caused by on this model of printer is caused by a fuse that blows. So Oh, let's already fix this one. <laughs> so, so there's one or two things you can do. You can either solder in a fuse with uh, a higher current rating. The fuse in this case is rated at 2 amps in this machine. So I've got two machines side by side. So the fuse that's in question if we can bring it into focus, 
is fuse F1. Fuse F1. Let's unplug that from the wall. Fuse F1 is this little fuse right here. That fuse right there. So that fuse delivers voltage to the high voltage board, to the laser motor, um, and I think also to a few sensors as well. I don't have a service manual for this model. I'm just going by what I remember. So what you have to do, you can either, if you're a really good technician, you can unsolder this fuse from the board. This fuse is rated at 2 amps. You can put in, say, a 2.4, 2.5 amp fuse, and that will fix the problem for a few years. Um, or simply, as these machines have now hit 6 years old, customers probably only expecting another two possibly three years out of the printer what you can do is simply unsolder the fuse and just solder a little bridge so a little blob of solder between two points it still makes the connection what we're doing now is we know it's drawing more than two point than 2 amps. It's averaging about 2.2, 2.3 amps now. Um, so as that motor wears, um, and as long as they don't put in shitty toners back into the printer, um, this should hold and it should work. So what we're banking on this time is simply where that pad goes back down and connects we're just simply using the track on the circuit board as the new fuse so if it does start to draw more than 2.2 or it reaches a peak threshold um, simply the track that's on the circuit board becomes the new fuse who knows the printer may work for another 10 years after this we just simply don't know um, all right, so yeah, we've just simply unsoldered it and soldered it across. So we'll just get that one on this machine now. We'll remove the fuse and put a jumper in there and see what it does. And that should fix the OB error. Oh, incidentally, if you go and jumper this fuse with a link, like I've done here, Make sure you fix the problem with the drum unit or the toner cartridge first. So ideally, if you've got another printer, same as it, pull the drum unit out of the other machine, put it in, put a different type of toner cartridge into it. Happy days, everything should be working again. So I'm just going to go and unsolder this one and jumper it and let's see how it goes as far as the OB error on this machine goes. Uh, incidentally, before you start going soldering and jumpering this fuse, it's advisable to remove this cable and just tuck it away over here because the cable can get melted or damaged while you're in here soldering. So, And you've also got to avoid the capacitor that's just above it. to do this two-handed, so I'm just going to pause the video.